Hello and welcome to the presentation on pure object oriented languages. Uh, this research program is being carried out in order to meet an essential requirement of the programming language and design concept subject uh, which is a requ request of the third year IT course of the SLIIT. This is the outcome of the research completed so far and produced for the midterm test on the subject. Before going deeper into the concept of its imp uh, concept of pure object oriented programming, it's important to gain a fair amount of knowledge about the specific terms used in the field. Uh, the first and most important technical term that we describe here is uh, object. Uh, object is an entity able to save a state and which offers a number of operations to either examine or affect the state. An object oriented model consists of a number of objects. Uh, there are clearly delimited parts of the model system. Objects usually uh, correspond to real life entity objects like cars, mobile phones, trees, uh, etc. Each object contains individual information and its behavior. We can call an object as a black box which sends and receives messages. It means uh, it's uh, very abstract. User uh, is not given a clear visible uh, of the inside of the uh, object. He can just uh, send a uh, inputs to the object by a message and get the output uh, as a message it's very convenient the next term is um, object orientation object orientation is a technique for system modeling it offers a number of concepts which are well suited for this purpose uh, there is a word called system in the definition of object orientation uh, this system has a meaning it can be either a dedicated software system or a system in a wider context next important term is class what is a class in the system we model there will be a number of communicating objects uh, some of these objects will have common characteristics and we can group them according to those characteristics these objects have the same mold or template such as uh, such a group represents a class the class represent template for several objects and describe how these objects are structured internally before moving to the uh, pure object oriented concepts we have to get a um, um, brief idea about object oriented languages object oriented concepts object oriented language means uh, a programming language that supports object oriented programming if a language support for object oriented programming it's uh, it can be called as an object oriented language there are six salient features uh, of a pure object oriented programming uh, those are encapsulation inheritance polymorphism all predefined types are objects all operations are performed by sending messages to objects all user defined types are objects let's look at these things one by one uh, first encapsulation uh, is um, protection of data without being allo allowed for any modification when it's stored in but uh, user can obtain a copy of this data out of the system and do the modification only via public methods where the original data is secure uh, inside the capsule second feature is inheritance uh, is similarities can be shared between classes by extracting them and placing them in a separate class we collect the common characteristics into one specific class and let the original classes inherit this class if a class inherits another class both the operation and information stated uh, described in the inherited class will become a part of inheriting class that's the um, 
uh, that's the theory of the inheritance mm. then the polymorphism is uh, instances created from classes uh, will together provide us with the dynamic behavior that we wish to model simply uh, it means that different instances can be associated and that those instances can belong to different classes next feature is uh, all predefined data types are objects um, in pure object oriented languages uh, all predefined data types are objects uh, as an example uh, if we um, consider normal language uh, primitive languages uh, there are some data types called integer floats uh, likewise then um, in object oriented uh, pre object oriented languages those uh, types are objects predefined types are objects ne the next one is all operations are performed by sending messages to objects it means uh, let's uh, take an example for uh, adding two numbers and those numbers uh, adding two numbers become a normal statement in a primitive languages but pure object oriented languages this uh, each step is done by uh, sending messages to objects those numbers become objects and the operation plus operation become another object and it's go for the uh, addition objects which take parameters as the uh, two numbers and get uh, give the output then the next feature is all user defined types of objects it means if a user uh, state some uh, ty uh, data types anything inside the uh, program they will become objects then uh, differences between uh, pure object oriented languages and object oriented languages um, there are object oriented languages uh, several object oriented languages but they are not actually they are not pure object oriented languages those uh, those six features i have mentioned uh, how to be satisfied for a program language to be pure object oriented some object oriented languages are not pure because um, if you take java it's not uh, pure because it supports primitive data types uh, such as integer python uh, 